Hi guys, this is Mr. Herbst here, and today's focus is on the digestion that occurs in the duodenum. Uh, the duodenum is the first part of the small intestine. Now in my last video I talked about what happens in this organ right here. This is called the stomach. The main thing that happens is that food is turned into this substance called chyme. Uh, now chyme is no longer something that you would recognize. It is, um, it's like a, it's as if your food has gone through a blender. It's liquefied food. No longer would this look like the, the pasta or the hamburger or the pizza that you ate. So from the stomach, chyme is going to enter this, this part of the small intestine called the duodenum. That's the first part of the small intestine. A lot happens here. First off, we're going to have bile that comes in from the gallbladder as well as from the liver. And that's going to come in contact with the chyme and the duodenum, help to break down some of those fats. We're going to have a whole plethora of enzymes and substances that come in from the pancreas. Here I have a picture of where the duodenum is in relation to the rest of your body. You can see it's actually a pretty small part of your body, but believe it or not, that small part of your body is responsible for pretty much almost all of the digestion that occurs uh, in your digestive system. Here I have a, a zoomed-in image of the duodenum region. This is, a, this is an accessory organ called our pancreas. Food will actually never go through this re this pancreas right here, but the pancreas does give off some very important se uh, secretions and enzymes. Uh, this sac-like organ right here, this is called our gallbladder. I'll abbreviate that GB. So I'll, I'll go ahead and draw in the chyme that's coming in from our stomach. So all this, all this green stuff is chyme that comes in from our stomach. Now the first thing that happens is that our duodenum recognizes that the chyme that comes from in from our stomach is very acidic. In fact, in my last video I said that the, the pH or the acidity of the stomach is around 1.5. That's very, very acidic. Um, to be neutral, the fact that to, to the point where the, the, the acid would no longer burn you is 7. So we are, we are well below that level. Um, so what, is the, what does the duodenum do? Well, there is a hormone that is secreted through, in the walls of the duodenum called secretin. Secretin is, an, is, an, is a hormone that's released in response to that pH, or that really low pH chyme that comes in through our duodenum. And what does that do? Well, that causes our, our uh, pancreas to release through the pancreatic duct so a substance called bicarbonate. Bicarbonate is a substance that helps to neutralize the pH, so it's not so harmful. Uh, if, if bicarbonate was not released, it would damage the lower regions of the small intestine. The little villi and microvilli uh, can be destroyed easily by very high acids. Uh, the bicarbonate to hydrochloric acid reaction is very similar to uh, what the whole reason that we take Tums. We take Tums to get rid of the acid in our stomach. It helps to cure heartburn. It neutralizes the acid so it doesn't, it doesn't hurt so much anymore. Well, bicarbonate is pretty much the same thing as Tums. So let's go ahead and review. Uh, the pancreas will release amylase that breaks down starches. It will re release lipases that break down fats. It will release proteases that break down proteins. It will release nucleases that break down nucleic acids, as well as this substance right here, bicarbonate, that neutralizes acid from the stomach so it doesn't harm the lower regions of our small intestine anymore. Now, there's a couple other things that happen. Well, I'll go ahead and draw in our chyme once again. So all this green stuff here is chyme that is coming in from our, our stomach. Now when chyme is really fatty, it stimulates the walls of our duodenum to release a substance called colo, cholecystokinin. That's a big long word. I'll go ahead and write that in. Cholecystokinin. That's a really long word. Now, what does cholecystokinin do? Well, because it's it's given off in the presence of fat, fatty chyme, 
it causes the, the, the gallbladder, this organ right here, I'll abbreviate that GB, it causes the gallbladder to release bile. So bile is going to enter in right here through the common hepatic duct, as well as a plethora, a whole lot of different enzymes are going to come in through the, the pancreatic duct, and they're going to come in through and enter into, into the duodenum where they're going to begin breaking down those substances. Why do we need bile? Well, bile acts as an emulsifier. Um, and what an emulsifier does is it dissolves fat into water. You may know that uh, if you put olive oil or corn oil into water, they separate. Well, that's not good because if, they, if we had the fat separated from the water, we wouldn't be able to have those enzymes which are dissolved in water working on the fat. So we want to dissolve the fat into the, the water so that those enzymes can work on that. It's actually very similar to uh, what soap does. Well, soap dissolves fat. So let's go ahead and review what happens uh, in, the, in the intestines. Uh, you have several different kinds of enzymes, your proteases, multiases, lactase, uh, sucrase, lipases, and nucleases. Uh, this enzyme right here, lactase, is, uh, is one that I wanted to talk about for a second because if you if somebody is lactose intolerant, that means that their bodies are not producing enough of this enzyme right here, lactase, which is going to break down lactose. Uh, lactose is found in dairy products. It's found in cheeses and, and yogurt and things like that. Um, so lactase is the enzyme that breaks that down. If somebody is lactose intolerant, it's because their bodies can't break down lactose because they don't have this lactase enzyme. Some other things that are given off by the intestinal wall is secretin, which is a hormone that uh, makes the that makes bicarbonate come from the pancreas, as well as coleo cholecystokinin that secretes bile and pancreatic enzymes so that fat can be broken down in our duodenum. So let's go ahead and review. We have chyme. That chyme is coming in from our stomach. We are going to have bile that comes in from the gallbladder as well as from the liver. That's going to come in here. It's going to help to dissolve the fat that is in the chyme. We're going to have uh, we're going to have bicarbonate coming in from the pancreas to neutralize the acid, and we are going to have certain hormones coming in, um, certain enzymes coming in from the pancreas that are going to help to digest the all of the substances that are in the chyme right here. Fatty chyme causes cholecystokinin to be released and stimulates pancreatic enzymes and bile from the gallbladder to be released. Bicarbonate from the pancreas neutralizes acid from the stomach. Enzymes from the pancreas and intestinal wall break down proteins, fats, carbs, and nucleic acids and Pretty much right here, this is the most important thing to know about what happens in the duodenum. Almost everything leaves the duodenum fully broken down and ready to be absorbed by the rest of our small intestine. Now, I know that uh, the most complicated, this is probably the most complicated portion of digestion is what actually happens in the duodenum. This is the big kahuna. This is the guy to pay attention to. Our next video is going to be on the processes that occur in the small intestine. Anyway, this was Mr. Herbst, and this was the processes uh, and the digestion that occurs in the duodenum. Uh, I'm signing off, folks. Uh, you all have a good day. Take care. Bye-bye.